the power in Christ and plans for the future. This morning, we have to look at the clocks to make sure you've moved them in the right direction. In my diary, it says, daylight savings time starts. So that's to me, says, summer! Because I don't like winter very much when you turn the clocks the other way. And so I hope that you've had a good night's sleep. We're now going to uh, sing There Is A Better World. And there is a better world because summer's coming. The sunshine is going to be here and it's going to get warmer. So let's sing. There is a better world. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this bright morning. And we thank you for the up and coming time when there will be sunshine and possibly showers. But Lord, just give us a new revelation of your word at this time of sharing together. Help us this morning to look into your word and to be challenged. We're looking in a, into a prophet's eyes and we pray, Lord, that you will help us to understand what you're saying through this old, old scripture, but it is so relevant to us. Heavenly Father, come and meet our needs, 
our challenges, be with those people we know who are far from well, and we ask for your healing strength just now. And we pray that we will know and understand what you want us to do today. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, our Bible reading, Jeremiah. Jeremiah warns the people against false prophets. In verse 4 of chapter 29 of Jeremiah, the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, sends this message to all the captives he has exiled to Babylon from Jerusalem. Now these are straightforward instructions, really. Build homes and plan to stay. Plant vineyards, for you will be there many years. Marry and have children and then find mates for them and have many grandchildren. Multiply, multiply. Don't dwindle away. The work for the people is peace and prosperity. Pray for everyone. For if Babylon has peace, so will you. The Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says, don't let the false prophets and mediums who are there among you fool you. Don't listen to the dreams that they invent, for they prophesy lies in my name. I've not sent them, says the Lord. The truth is this. You will be in Babylon for 70 years, but then I will come and do for you all the good things I have promised and bring you home again. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, and the plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. You will find me when you seek me. And if you look for me in earnest, you will find me. Yes, says the Lord, I will be found by you and I will end your slavery and restore your fortunes and gather you out of the nations where I sent you and bring you back home again to your own land. May God seal those words as we look at them in a little while. We're now going to listen to the band. The Salvation Army Band is an important aspect of our worship and uh, they practice, they come together. Some practice more than others. Some need to practice more than others, but it's the message that counts, the message of God's word and God's heart to you.
Our next song is one that I can remember singing at, shall we say, in a football stadium when Billy Graham came. So I'm going back a few years. Knowing you, Jesus. Knowing you. And it spoke to me all those years ago and I ask, do you know Jesus today? Christ. 
But we've got to look at the Old Testament first before we meet Christ. And we're going to look at Psalm 89. Psalm 89. God's promise to preserve David's descendants. Forever and ever I will sing about the tender kindness of the Lord. Young and old shall hear about your blessings, your love and kindness forever. Your truth is enduring as the heavens. The Lord God says, I have made a solemn agreement with my chosen servant. I have taken an oath to establish his descendants as kings forever on his throne. All heaven shall praise your miracles, O Lord. Myriads of angels will praise you for your faithfulness. For who in heaven can be compared with God? What mightiest angel is anything like him? The highest of angelic powers stand in dread and awe of him. Who is as reverent as he by those surrounding him? O oh, Jehovah, commander of the heavenly armies, where is there other mighty one like you? Faithfulness in all your character. You rule the oceans with their waves. You have cut haughtily Egypt to pieces. Your enemies are scattered. You created north and south. Your throne is founded on two strong pillars. The one is justice, the other is righteousness. Mercy and truth walk before you as your attendants. Blessed are those who hear the joyful blast of the trumpet, for they shall walk in the light of your presence. The songsters are the choir for our Salvation Army, and you've heard many times me saying that they are with us and in most core participate in the meetings. Originally, William Booth asked them to bring new music and they would teach the congregation the songs and messages. But today, the songsters are the choir and we listen to them just now.
are us all to sing is, I love you, Lord. And this is our time together before we look together in the word from God. I love you, Lord. date of 70 years in Babylon. Some say it refers to the years 604 to 535 BC. A third possibility, 70 years, is an approximate number. A third possibility that 70 years means a lifetime. So, we're all encouraged by a leader who stirs us to move ahead. Someone who believes we can do the task. God is that kind of leader. 
As long as God, who knows the future, provides our agenda and goes with us to fulfil his mission. So we have the power in Christ now through the power of the Holy Spirit and he still plans for our future. God does not forget his people and even though they were captive in Babylon, he planned to give them a new beginning with new purpose. Now, over this week, the Salvation Army have done just that to a lot of people. A lot of people have had farewell orders where the Salvation Army officer moves on and people were told where they're going. A new beginning with new purpose to turn them into new people, revitalised through mission. I would ask that you pray, if you're members of the Salvation Army, I ask you to pray for our leaders, for the general, for the territorial commanders, for the divisional commanders, that we will have ears to hear what God is saying and those of us that are being prepared to do other things. Listen, for God is in the centre. I leave you that verse, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Take it in context. They are plans for good, and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. In these days, now, 2023, in these days, when you pray, I will listen, says God. You will find me when you seek me, when you seek me. And if you look for me in earnest, may you listen to what God is saying. I ask you to join with me in singing the beautiful song, All That I Am. We've used it before, but those words mean a lot to us at this time. And all... The little word, all, means a lot. And we ought to give more, not less.
And to bring this meeting to a close, I'd like us to sing There Is A Hope. There is a hope. We've read it in the scripture. We've prayed about it. We know that with God leading, there is a hope in all that we do.
I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. We are standing on holy ground And I know that there are angels all around there Stay.